The downtown skyline illuminating the night here at our broadcast location, Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports, a special Martin Luther King Day edition. Joined by Craig Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Grizzlies first found an identity with grit and grind. As a rookie, Jaron Jackson cut his teeth alongside Mike Conley and Mark Gasol. And he said, now it's next gen, but it's still the same sort of mentality. We take defense seriously. That's our staple. And when you do that, you usually win. Guys? They do. Great philosophy and attitude. Thanks, D.A. Let's see some of the numbers here for Jaron Jackson. And, guys, I think he's starting to feel the wear and tear of the season a little bit. That, that comes across in his rebounding numbers. They dropped off this month. He needs that second win, and no doubt he'll get it soon. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. In the backyard, it's Ball and Levine. DeRozan out there with Williams. And it's Vucevic in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Memphis, looks at the three with Jackson at the four. Then it's Jones. Then it's Clint Capella. And it's Bain in at the two. Yeah, tonight, Greg, two teams with a go. lot of talent, but also a lot of inexperience. And we'll see some spectacular plays, but also a few boneheaded ones as well. Always interesting to watch these young players develop. Here's Bain. Pass to Jackson. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Good concentration by Jaron. A little contact on the shot. No problem. Ball, the pass to Vucevic. Right side, Levine. That one doesn't go. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. This is their first chance to take a look at the Bulls this season. And this is a matchup that can frustrate them as they came up empty in their two games against them last year. Kucevic with the bucket. This is where Levine has really expanded his game, avoiding tunnel vision and getting others involved. Now here's Jones. His last outing, he had 18 points. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Well, the backstory of Clint Cavella is interesting as he was only the second player, Greg, from Switzerland to make it to the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, you know, you don't think of basketball right away when you think of Switzerland, but the game has grown so much in Europe over the years. Guys like Capella, who might have gone into soccer at one point, are now gravitating towards hoops. That's good from Capella. You know, in most seasons throughout his career, Clint Capella has shot a higher percentage from the field than from the line. Outside, Williams. Levine, wide open. Offline with his three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Brooks, the pass to Capella. Kicks it out to Jones. Memphis moving it around. And the pass to Brooks. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range. Offensive rebound. Jackson. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. One of the few concerns scouts had with Jaron Jackson. Could he rebound at a high level? He did it right there. And after suffering that knee injury in the bubble back in 2020, Jackson worked his way back, Steve. That's always one of the toughest parts of the game, dealing with serious injury when you're young. They're hoping he can remain healthy because he's a foundational piece moving forward. Jaron Jackson, I think about his mobility on the defensive end. He can dart out to the perimeter shooters and recover to the paint better than most guys his size. Now, here's DeRozan coming off a stellar performance against Boston. And here's Levine. And the layup is good. You know, it really helps your team when you take good shots. Zach Levine making an effort. 
Brooks outside. Pass to Bain. Fires the three. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. Passes it to Levine. For three. It's rebounded by Memphis. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Bain passes to Brooks. Nailed from three-point land. Confident and relatively efficient from three, Brooks gives you another person who can space the floor. Ball kicks to Levine. That falls. Nice That's feed that really time from Ball. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Brooks. 17 points in his last outing. Shoots over DeRosa. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Brooks has got five now. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. Jones against Ball. For three, Levine. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. Slick shot by Zag right off the pass. He just goes straight into his motion. Jones, the pass to Brooks. Lob pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. You see the vertical. But Capella way above the rim with one or two hands. Ball with it. Jones covering. Ball feeling it out a bit. Levine inside the three-point line. And the Bulls tack on two more. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Jones, the pass to Jackson. Pass to Brooks from deep. And it's Bradley with the rebound. Bulls trail by four to the middle. That's good from Williams, the assist by Ball. It's no secret that Lonzo is an elite facilitator. If you're open, he will get you the ball. Jones, the pass to Bain. Jones against Ball. Outside, Jones. Over Williams. Jones, no luck. Chicago's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. DeRozan finds Levine. And it's Desmond Bain with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. On the wing, DeRozan. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. To the inside. Here's Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. A player who's aware of everything around him. Brooks sees the man break open and hits it. Now here's Levine. He's covered closely. Outside DeRozan. Picked away. Here's Bain. Boy, was he something else against Dallas. Left side Jackson over Williams. Jackson misses. And so Levine will bring it up now for the Chicago Bulls. Four-point game. Levine double team. Williams scanning the floor. Floats one. And the rejection by Jackson. And it's Brooks in the corner. Shoots over ball. Brooks misses. Bulls trail by four. Now here's Levine. Nine points in the game so far. Back to Williams. Outside DeRozan. Six to shoot. And they double up DeRozan. For three, Levine makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game.
one of Zach Levine's better nights. He's both prolific and efficient these days. Stolen by Ball. Knocked loose. Brooks with it. Now guarded by Ball. Brooks the best of Bain. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And over his four years at TCU, Desmond Bain shooting 43% from long range. And Steve, he has not slowed down in the NBA. The Grizzlies, can you believe, took him with the final pick of the first round in 2020. That's great value, getting a floor spacer with size that late. The first one falls. And Greg, at this point in the year, if your system overall doesn't seem to be working, how much can you really change before the offseason? Well, usually a system change would come with a coaching change, but sometimes it's not the system. And sometimes you just need a different voice. And keep in mind, you also have to evaluate that roster and find out if the players on that roster are a good match for the system. Bulls trail by three. DeRozan passes to White. Down low. It's deflected. Stolen by Anderson. He dishes it to Clark. Outside, Jones. Goes up from the top of the key, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. And the Grizzlies lead by five. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Memphis. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. And also, they're jumping on a lot of turnovers, making sure they turn them into points at the other end. Here's Jones after the Bulls pick up two. Now the pass to Anderson. That's tipped. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Pass to Caruso. Bradley against Adams. Good on the shot. And now just a one-point Memphis lead. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Bain passes to Adams. Outside, Jones. Passes to Bain. Pass to White. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. For Memphis, they've gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. The kick out to Anderson. Shot clock at six. Shoots over White. The six-footer's good. Working off contact is something Anderson does extremely well, and he does it a lot. And there's the pass to White. Pass to DeRozan. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. Steven Adams picks one up. And at times, it just feels like DeRozan is still underappreciated. Receives a lot of criticism for what he doesn't do and hit not enough credit for what he does. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And DeRozan's talked about using negative press to his advantage. You know, he said, you have to be able to take criticism if you want to be great. Use the negative energy to become something more than you thought you could be. Troy Brown's checked in for Chicago. Tamar DeRozan hits them both. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Jones against Anderson. Kicks it out to Jones. Pass to Bain. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got four assists in the game. 
I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Here's Caruso. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Jones looking for an opening. Poked loose. This is the white. And here's Brown outside. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Check out Kobe White dropping a dime to the wide open man. What a pass. Timeout, timeout. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game. Checked in for the Grizzlies. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see which players have had the most success from the strike this month. The fourth spot held by DeMar DeRozan. And during that time, guys, he's been an absolute dead-eye shooter from the free throw line. His concentration just never wavers. Now Jones. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And that one's good by Clark. Yeah, you got to know, this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. Now here's White. Kicks it to Brown. 52 seconds left to play in the first. It's good. Brown's got five points so far. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. And the basket by Jones. And the Grizzlies lead by two. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. DeRozan against Adams. And it's Anderson with the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. Jones kicks to Culver. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Brown. Jones trying to get open. Brown, good. Brown's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Outside, Jones. Misses in close. It's a tie game in Memphis. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to our special presentation of the NBA for Martin Luther King Day. Guys, what's your take on the Grizzlies so far? Attacking, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the line. Some people might feel they got some hometown calls, but when your team is pushing the action, you often get the benefit of the doubt. Chicago has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Taking a look at the Bulls. We've got White. 
DeRozan out there with Vucevic. Then there's Brown, and it's Caruso in at the point. Here's Jones following the score by DeMar DeRozan. Adams finds Jones. And the foul called on Tyus Jones. And that's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Chicago leading. Here's Caruso. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Anderson against DeRozan. Pass to Caruso. Five on the clock. There's the triple. No good. All the time in the world to get that one off. It's Jones on the way. He's covered by Brown. And Adams kicks to Culver. Offensive rebound. Adams' shot is good. And he's one of those guys you don't have to call plays for. Steven Adams is happy to eat the leftovers. Brown outside. Outside DeRozan. Good D by Anderson. Hmm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Anderson. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. White against Brooks. Tipped away. Stolen by Brooks. Inside, Clark dishes to Jones. Shakes him. They get a hand on it. Tries again. And it's good. Two points. Jones has got his second basket. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. There's the pass to Vucevic. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And got to do more than that to stop Vucevic. So adept at fending off those types of challenges. On the wing, Brooks. A three-pointer off the mark. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. To the paint, here's Vucevic. And Vucevic throws it down. And using every bit of that large frame for the exclamation point, Vucevic a force around the rim. Now here's Jones. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. 13 feet away. Bucket is good. Jones has got the game tied up here for the Grizzlies. When the defense is non-existent like they were there, it's pretty easy to score like he did. White the pass to Brown. Here's Caruso. Adams defending. Basket counts. And the Bulls lead by two. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Jones against Williams. There's the feed to Adams. Shoots over Vucevic. And Adams with the basket on the assist by Jones. Jones has got six assists now in the game. And the intensity Steven Adams brings onto the court with him is obvious. He doesn't let the game come to him. He wants to dictate tempo. And Greg, that's a quality that served him well. He had a lot to prove when he came into this league. He had to be assertive early on. That attitude has never left him. He still is an intimidator. Here's Clark. After the made shot from Nikola Vucevic, that one drops for him. I mean, he's hard to stop once he gets to the rim. That's a beautiful play. White looking around. He kicks it to Brown. Pass to Caruso. Caruso. 
And Adams sends it back. That's the length of Adams, but also the good instincts defensively. Takes the 13-footer, and the Grizzlies tap on two more. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Trailing by two. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. That game is the first and last of their homesteads. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. For Memphis, they've gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Now a timeout called by Memphis. All right, Greg, you're a lefty. You're on the call tonight. Here we are courtside. Who do you think is the best left-handed player currently in the NBA? Oh, it's the beard. James Harden, Kevin, no question. But Zion's going to be carrying that torch for us lefties going forward. I have no doubt he'll make us proud. some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Steven Adams. Jackson comes in for Clark, and it's Williams in for Culver. Zach Levine's checked in for the Bulls. Ball comes in for Alex Caruso. Now here's Williams. Memphis moving it around. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. Ball, the pass to Vucevic. And Levine, here we go. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. The Jackson creativity, Jackson. extreme Jackson. athleticism. You see why Zach's won the dunk contest multiple times. And, Kevin, you tend Jackson to forget Levine. this about Levine. For one. I mean, he's still so young. You feel like he's been in the league forever. One shot. throw good Levine you know Greg I was just thinking about Zach Levine and his age he's just now in his mid to late 20s and he's grown so much since that rookie year excited to see what numbers he can put up as he gets ready to enter into his prime. guys no one team gaining control early on yeah and you look at the lead changes six already ball kicks to Brown Passes it to Levine. Takes a three. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got his fourth rebound in this one. Yeah, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Jackson finds Brooks. Out left to the wing. Capella, the pass to Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. And the dunk by Capella. An assertive slam by Clint Capella, showing the defense what he can do. Brown outside. Ball with a wide open look. Trains it from beyond the arc. Ball's got it all tied up now for Chicago. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Brooks kicks to Jones. Back to Brooks. Pass to Capella. Brooks misses. The Bulls have gone 8 of 12 since the start of the second quarter. That's a really high percentage, hitting around 67%. Here's Ball. Good, and it's One Williams ball. who picks up the assist. the assist. Ball's got the lead up to two now for the Bulls. Very creative with the ball in his hands. Lonzo breaking ankles out there. The pass to Williams. Pass to Capella. Back to Williams. 
Jones against Ball, the 10 footer. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Hanzo Ball picks one up. Way to attack there and then create the contact. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bulls? Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off an insist. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. Yeah, and I think another key, guys, will be can they continue to hit that mid-range shot? I mean, they've been very effective here early on. And that one falls for Jones. The Grizzlies making a change here. Baines checked in. The Bulls also changing it up. Tony Bradley comes in for Williams. And Jones subbed in for Troy Brown. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Ball. Five points in the game. Outside, Jones. Passes it to Levine. Knocks it loose. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Here's Bain. And the shot goes in. Bain's got eight points. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Now here's Jones. No points in the game yet for him. Outside, ball. Six on the shot clock. The shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Here's Bain. Eight points for him. On the wing, Williams. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Shoots. Bain, no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Jones with it. Williams picks him up. And now here comes Jones leading the break. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. And the shot is good. The Grizzly lead has been cut down now to just two points with that basket from Vucevic. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Now here's Jackson. 17 points in his last outing. Here's Bain. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. DeMar DeRozan. He's checked in for the Bulls. DeMar DeRozan. Looking at Memphis, they took the win in their last game against Dallas. Mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Jones looking for an opening. Back to Jackson. Bain, great positioning on the putback. Bain's got 10 points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Outside, Levine. Outside, Jones. Outside, Ball. Pocket four over Jackson. And the rejection by Jackson. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Williams. And the rejection by Bradley. Here's Levine. And he uses the glass on the lane. He's got 17. He has length and he has athleticism. Both of those help him operate inside and be good defenses. 
Bain passes to Capella. Over Jones. Capella with the bucket. 11 points for Clint Capella. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Outside, Levine. Now here's DeRozan. He's guarded closer. It's good. DeRozan's got four points in the quarter. Nice release from DeMar DeRozan. He can make that shot if he gets a good look. Here's Bain. Over Jones. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Grizzlies lead by two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the basket, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but you got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Happy Martin Luther King Day, everyone, and welcome back as we get going again here at 2K Sports. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And welcome back to the 2K Sports broadcast of the NBA. Celebrating Martin Luther King Day. Brooks at the three with Jackson at the four. Then it's Clint Capella. Then it's Tyus Jones. And it's Bain in at the two spot. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Now, here's Capella. Jackson trying to break free. Capella with the bucket. Capella's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Grizzlies. Ball, the pass to Vucevic. Poked away. It's stolen by Jones. Brooks outside. And the foul on Patrick Williams. That's foul number two for him. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Kicks it out to Jones. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. That's foul That's number two for him. For foul. Second team foul. Lob pass to Capella. Up high to stop the alley. They've really leaned on Capella to provide points tonight. And he has been up to the task. Pass to Vucevic. There's the dish to Levine. It doesn't go for him. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Here's Jackson. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Jackson's got the lead up to eight now for Memphis. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. Outside ball. Off target from three-point range. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Here's Jones. Vucevic with the block. Well-timed by Vucevic. Not a center who piles up blocks, but this guy picks his spots. Brooks finds Jones. Shot clock at three. Out to Brooks. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Bulls trail by eight. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive scheme. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. 
And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. And Vucevic has got the ball here for Chicago. Nothing yet for them in the third quarter. Rosen has such good body control that it's very difficult to disrupt his shot with contact. Now here's Jones. Eight points for him. Outside Jackson. The pass to Brooks. Beyond the arc. Good on the triple. Brooks has got eight points. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. Outside Levine. He feeds it to Vucevic. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And one of the most underrated bigs in the NBA. Vucevic quietly dominates on a consistent basis. It's his first trip to the line. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Free throw drops for Vucevic. Some changes for Memphis. Adams, he's checked in for Clint Capella. Kyle Anderson comes in for Jackson. And it's Brandon Clark in for Bain. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for the Bulls. And both free throws good for Vucevic. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to get to the line. And there's the foul. Here we go on Alex Caruso. That is his first foul of the game. Chicago making a switch here. White's checked in. Kobe White. Clark kicks to Anderson. Jones, the pass to Anderson. Trying to find Brooks, he's got it now. The playmaking ability of Kyle Anderson combines great floor vision with his height and feel. To the inside. That one's good, and the Grizzly lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Vucevic. Playing from behind right here, not easy, but he is answering the bell. The reason why is not just scoring, it's the way he's doing it. He fishing. That's what you need at this point in the game. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And I'm going to give him a lot of credit because he saw what he was up against and he was undeterred. Now here's Vucevic. He's got 16. Here's Williams. An easy two points on the lane. And everybody loves a big man that can pass. And, and Vucevic putting his vision on full display there. Brooks against Vucevic. Shoots from 14, and Brooks hits it to go. Brooks has got the lead up to nine now for Memphis. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Williams finds White. Now DeRozan. Pass to Caruso. Four on the shot clock. Launches a three. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Timeout called the Grizzlies.
checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And the Grizzlies leading by seven. Jones, the pass to Anderson. He dishes it to Brooks. Driving to the basket. Here's Jones. Hits from the high post. Jones has got 12 in the game. Bulls trail by nine. Here's Caruso. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Feeds it to Vucevic. Passes it to Caruso. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. He has five. And when you're a high usage player like Vucevic, you have to keep your head up and be willing to make the next pass. Now here's Adams. And Adams with the slam. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. And so here is Chicago following the score by Memphis. Here's Caruso, Adams defending, fouled in the act of shooting, gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Steven Adams picks one up. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Grizzlies. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. And how about the work they're doing also on the offensive glass? Creating those extra opportunities has been critical. Chicago making a switch here. Jones has checked in. On the free throw, no good. And it's Anderson with the ball for Memphis. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to Jones. Brooks with it. Dishes to Anderson. Outside, Jones. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basketball. Here's Caruso, defended by Jones. The pass to White. Knocked away. It's stolen by Adams. Anderson dishes to Jones. Adams outside. Pass to Brooks. The shot. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And it's a 10-point Grizzly lead. A much different player here in the second half. He's taken advantage of what the defense allows. The feed to Williams. Vucevic trying to get open. Another shot. It's hauled in by Adams. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. No good from Clark. Bulls trail by 10. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Memphis has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Anderson outside. The dish to Adams. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Adams has got the lead up to 12 now for the Grizzlies. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Passes it to Caruso. This one for three. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Adams. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. You've got to bring more than that to stop Steven Adams. Using that strength to fight through contact. Throws it up high. It's tipped. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. And there it is for him. Jones has got 16. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. And we all value a dose of humility from time to time. Even, you know, Steve from the start. But what do you think is the right balance between bravado and modesty? You know, I think you always got to have uh, character and respect. I think that's where it comes from. But in during competition, as long as you're not crossing the line, I think it's okay.
with some changes. Culver comes in for Brandon Hunt. And it's Bain in for Jones. Bulls trail by 16. White with it. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Here's Caruso. He's covered by Anderson. Shot clock at five. Here's White. And Adams sends it back. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And that one's good. Brooks. Brooks has got 11 in the second half. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Outside, Jones. Here's Caruso. Adams defending. Caruso, the pass to Vucevic. They can't stop the run with that one. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out, or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Here's Bain. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. Chicago calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Capella, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Jackson comes in for Kyle Anderson. The Bulls also changing it up. Levine's checked in for White. And Ball subbed in for Alex Caruso. Right side, Levine. And it's Ball in the corner. Will it go? Drills it from outside. Ball. Ball's got eight points. Reliable three-point shooting is so important. Lonzo works hard to deliver that for the team. Brooks kicks to Culver. One sixteen left to play here in the third. Excellent D that time from Jones. Down low. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. They led the game at one point by 20. Williams against Brooks. Over Williams. Brooks misses. Bulls trail by 17. There's Ball with the three. Buries it from three-point range. Ball's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Chicago. Here's Bain. Guarded by Levine. Pass to Brooks. It's over Vucevic. Brooks misses. Chicago has gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Jackson. Coming up to the floor for the move. DeMar DeRozan. Fifteen seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Jones finds DeRozan. Right side, ball. 
Levine for three, and no good in the last second attempt this time. And so it's Memphis, sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. We come back right after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Thanks again for joining us, and welcome back to our special Martin Luther King Day presentation of the NBA. So the Bulls five right now. In the backyard, it's Ball and Levine. DeRozan out there with Jones, and it's Vucevic in at the five. Brooks against Ball. Brooks, the pass to Jackson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Brooks. And that'll be Memphis as it goes out of bounds. Grizzlies retain possession. at six Bain inside the three-point line when you mix balls length with his timing the result is a quality defensive play and so it's ball who brings the ball up for the Bulls it's a 14-point game Levine deciding where to go with it the Rosen's shot is off the Grizzly shooting percentage 59% the offense is running smoothly Culver dishes to Capella. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Ball kicks to Jones. He dishes it to Levine. Levine double team. Now the pass to Vucevic. Outside, ball. A three-pointer, no good. Memphis leading by 16. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Jackson finds Capella over Levine. And Capella, the bucket, on the assist by Jackson. And that's now 19 points for Clint Capella. Bulls trail by 18. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Levine. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. Williams, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. And a change for the Bulls. Williams, he's checked in for Derek Jones. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Williams scanning the floor. Out to Brooks. Let's it go. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Williams. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play time all out, time the time. Out. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish. But they're tough to replicate. 
Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. We've heard the calls for more diversity among head coaches, Greg. With the turnover this offseason came a lot of opportunity. And hey Kevin, that's really what it's all about, right? The league's values of diversity and inclusion have been really pushed to the forefront. And I think that's one reason why our game is so popular globally, because it is so inclusive. All right, look who's coming up to the court. Come on and get back for your Brisbane. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Outside DeRozan. Pass to Williams. Now, here's Ball. Defended by Jones. Shot clock at six. Feeds it to Levine. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. DeRozan for three. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Three points. Levine's got four assists in the game. And the Grizzlies leading by 17. Pass to Williams. A three ball. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. Chicago's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Jones against Ball on the wing, Williams. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Jaron Jackson. First team foul. At the line for the Bulls, Patrick Williams. Two shots. No good on that one. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Clark's checked in. And he sinks the second. And here's Jones. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And it's Capella missing. Second shot opportunity. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And it goes down two points. Levine's got 19 points. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And the foul called on Brandon Clark. That is his first foul of the game. Brooks checked in for Memphis. Outside DeRozan. Back to ball. Outside Levine. That falls. Nice feed that time from ball. Ball's got six assists in the game. Jones against ball. Brooks left side. And the pass to Bain. Six to shoot. Jones with foul guarded by DeRozan. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Just no 
resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. Load the plate. Second team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, Tyus Jones. Find the she legs. Won. Find the legs. One shot. Bulls trail by 16. Now here's DeRozan. Williams passes to Levine. And the Bulls, another three. Three. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. And here's Brooks from outside. A shot missing. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Outside, ball. Outside, Levine. And Capella sends it back. Nice discipline defensively for Capella. Does a great job of contesting shots without fouling. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Capella. So at Chicago now, trailing by 13. Just five to shoot. Ball from long range. It's rebounded by Memphis. Baines got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Excellent D there from Williams. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. Levine double team. Brooks against Williams. And the slam by Williams. Just punch the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. And that'll be his third foul so far. Third foul. Third team foul. Here's Bain, guarded by Levine. Pass to Bain. Fires the three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got four rebounds in this game. Here's DeRozan and finished off by DeRozan. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. What I like during this run, they paid incredible attention to the details at both ends. That needs to continue. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Memphis leading by six. I'm out called the Grizzlies. And DeRozan, a free agent this past offseason, took his time to find the right fit in terms of who he would sign with, ultimately choosing Chicago in a big victory for the Bulls. present our new balance player of the game on Joe Ball and his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been it's better than 50 percent always a sign of a solid offensive performance but his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous and keeping us updated from the sideline let's swing it over to David Aldrin thanks Kevin well coach Taylor Jenkins talked to his team during the break his demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat. 
make one final push and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening, guys. Thank you, David. Jackson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his third. Great use of the pump fake. The best move in basketball. So much untapped potential with Jaron Jackson. Jackson Jr. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 19 to 7 run. Williams finds Vucevic. And there's the foul. It's on Steven Adams. And that'll be his third foul so far. Third team foul. Outside Levine. The shot from 20 feet away. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Levine's got 10 points in just the second half. Outside, Jones. Here's Bain. Brooks outside. Six on the shot clock. Jackson down low. Headed by Levine. And that one drops. Jackson's got four points this quarter. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes, and if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. Rose and dishes the ball. Levine passes to DeRozan. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. And that's 15 points for DeMar DeRozan. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Brooks kicks to Jones. Passes to Bing. Now Brooks. Here's the three. Drills the three-pointer. Brooks has got 21. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. Outside Levine. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. And, and they continue to control the glass. And the basket by Jackson. And for Jackson, it's about staying after him. This is what allows him to catch fire. Outside, ball. And it's Vucevic in the corner. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. He's got 20. And likes the view from there. He, he's a strong mid-range shooter. And with that height, he can get a clean look on any shot at any time. Now here's Brooks. Pass to Bain. No one near him. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Ball against Jackson. There's the pass to Vucevic. Back to ball. From downtown, buries the long-range jumper. Ball's got 12 points here in the second half. And the three-point shot really has been their best friend here tonight. He's been huge from deep. That's where he's done most of his damage. And if they need another three, he'll be the guy. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing.
and the Grizzlies leading by six. Now Brooks. Two minutes remaining of the day. Two minutes. Kicks it to Jones. Three on the clock. Over Williams. Williams with the clock. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And so here is Chicago. Six point game. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Here's Bain. Brooks up on top. Pass to Bain. He kicks to Jones. Five to shoot. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Jones has got five points now in the quarter. And that's what the pump fakes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Pass to DeRozan. Over Brooks. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by ball. 17 points for DeMar DeRozan. To Rose and simply rise into the occasion with that make huge shot. Here's Brooks. Keeps it alive. And it's Adams on the follow. Uncanny ability to time the tip in. He does this night in and night out. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're behind by eight. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the fourth. to DeRozan. Williams with a clean look, and it's Chicago scoring again. That's good awareness from DeRozan. Spots the open man. That speaks to his all-around game. Jones in the post. He's covered by ball. Back to Jones. Shot clock at six. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Grizzlies lead by eight. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. So the Grizzlies take the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Jaron. A young team, but you're going in the right direction. How does a game like tonight help you keep that flow? 
progress. You know, everything is progress. A win you can learn something from, a loss you can learn something from. So we're taking every little bit of it, and you know, we're just happy to get one at home today. It's a step in the process, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.